DREV is short for Design Revolution, and we are a nonprofit medical device company that is focused on health issues that disproportionately affect the poor. Our focus is countries like India and regions like East Africa, where there are diligent, hardworking doctors and pretty good infrastructure in the hospitals, but they're lacking contextually appropriate medical devices that meet their needs. We have two lines of products at DREV. The first is in newborn health. And then our second line of products is around mobility. So amputees, for example, helping them be able to walk again. Our products are in over 50 countries, almost all of them lower middle income countries. Our products are very affordable. Our devices are high quality. They perform on par or better than the best products on the market. I think system, systems thinking is so important for all of the work we do. You know, I think when people talk about product design, whether it's a medical device or whether it's you know, something entirely else, we, we tend to focus on the widget, but really the widget needs to fit into this entire system. Our design process at DREV um, encompasses everything from understanding the needs at the very beginning. We're talking to doctors, we're talking to nurses. We develop concepts, get their feedback, and we're iterating. We're in a lot of iterating for a while. And while we're thinking about the product itself, we're also looking at the market and testing, for example, like how are we going to get this product to market? How are we going to make sure that it can be designed and sold affordably? so that the product can scale. GLG has been really instrumental to us, particularly with our new product development, because we've been able to go up the research and learning curve so much faster than we would otherwise. We're an impact-driven organization like, like so many of us, but we want to be able to, where possible, have our products assess themselves. So if possible, we do design our products to self-monitor. So Brilliance, for example, um, it, it keeps track of how much it's being used and then we're able to collect that data. And based on that data, we have an algorithm that estimates um, the number of babies treated. And then based on the characteristics of the hospital, we know the number of babies who otherwise would not have received effective treatment, so the counterfactual. And then from that, we're able to estimate the, the, the deaths and disabilities averted. An amputee who I met one time, he said, I can walk, I can get a job, but he goes, I can also get married. And I think we forget that, you know, yes, go have a job, go back to school, but there's a social aspect that people regain when, when they can walk again.